Hi guys, this is Raju Rahman from Tectonic. In today's video, I'll be taking a look at the recently released Zeon Yeon Smooth X gimbal. It can fold into something very portable, which makes it very easy to carry around. Unlike other gimbals, this one also can extend out. Not only is that cool, but it does add some functionality, which I'll go into later. So you guys are aware, in this review, I'll be testing the gimbal out with the Sony Xperia one now let's also get out the way that this is in fact a two axis gimbal not three so in this review you'll find out if that missing axis makes a big difference so is this just an expensive selfie stick or is it a low cost gimbal you should go out and buy to find out keep watching So this is the combo package that costs £69.99. There's also a gimbal only version which costs £10 cheaper. As far as I'm concerned, this is the package you'll want to get. Inside the box, the first thing you'll find is this lovely hard portable bag. It's got the GU branding on the top, which looks pretty good. Pulling open the zipper and opening the bag, you have the service card, quick start guide and some other leaflet. Next, you have a USB Type-C charging cable. Because this is the combo package as well as the portable bag, you also get this portable tripod. And finally, the Zhiyun Smooth X stabilizer itself. On the stabilizer, you've got instructions on how to unfold it. You want to read that. It does initially seem a bit tricky, as you'll witness in a few seconds. The gimbal weighs 246 grams, and in its folded state, only 14.5 centimeters in length. So very small and pocketable. So turn the handle around 180 degrees so that the joystick faces outwards, then gently pull it away and tilt the handle. After that, twist the vertical arm around 180 degrees counterclockwise, finally push the handle back in to secure it. And that's the gimbal, feels very solid and well built even though it's plastic. On the side of the vertical arm you have the power button, pushing that down turns the gimbal on and you can also see the battery status LEDs. Before I go through the rest, first thing I'll do is set it up with my Sony Xperia 1. You have to activate the gimbal on the app the first time you use it, otherwise the motor won't work, which is a bit odd but that's what you need to do. You need to go to the Play Store and download the ZY Cami app. Once it's installed, open the app, tap the camera icon on the top left, it will now search for the gimbal. When it appears on the list, tap connect, give it a few seconds and you're done. It's as easy and straightforward as that. If there's a prompt to update the software, go ahead and do that first. So let me do that now and I'll go through the rest of the gimbal as the update progresses. On the front of the gimbal you have a joystick, but remember because this is only a two axis gimbal, you can pan, you can roll, but there's no tilt axis. More on that later though. Underneath the joystick on the left you have the mode button, single presses switch between pan, follow mode and lock mode, a double press of the button switches from landscape mode to portrait mode for when you want to record video for things like Snapchat and IGTV, triple pressing the button re-centers the stabilizer, four presses puts the gimbal into roll and pan follow mode. A long press to enter or exit standby mode and you can also customize what this M button does but blimmin hell that's a lot to remember right? All that from just one button. Next to the mode button on the right you have the red photo video trigger button. On the side you have the zoom slider just remember that the photo video button and zoom slider will only work with the ZY Cami app. On the top vertical arm there's a USB-C charging port. This gimbal has a built-in 1000 mAh battery which takes about 3 hours to fully charge and should give you around 4 hours of usage. Finally on the bottom of the handle you'll find a quarter inch threaded hole to mount to a tripod. To set up the gimbal make sure this label is pointing up. When placing your phone into the holder make sure the camera is on the left side facing away from you. Make sure that you balance the phone before powering the gimbal on otherwise it will drain more battery than it needs to. And that's it, you're ready to start shooting some stabilized video. So with that said, let's see how video recorded using the gimbal compares to not using it at all. Both the left and right footage was shot using the ZY Cami app. You can see compared to the footage on the right without the gimbal, the footage on the left has less shake. I mean, it still doesn't remove the bounce from the walking, but it's still much better. This becomes much more noticeable when you're running. Look at the amount of shake on the right. You can see how noticeable the difference is when you're not using a gimbal. Here's some footage recorded using the front facing camera. Smooth X on the left, handheld on the right. Again, it's pretty clear that the footage recorded using the gimbal is much more stable. I'm sure from what you've seen so far, you'll all have noticed that the gimbal doesn't remove the bounce, you know, when you're walking and running. This is where the missing tilt axis would have 
you know, slightly negated that bounce. But it's just something you have to live with unless, of course, your phone already has good image stabilization. Here's some footage recorded using the gimbal, but this time using the stock Sony camera app instead of the ZY Cami app. The built-in stabilization of the Xperia 1 alongside the gimbal does a much better job in my opinion. Let's compare this footage recorded using the ZY Cami app on the left. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Unlike most gimbals, the Smooth X has a telescopic grip. The aluminium rod can be extended up to 260 mm Meters. That means you can have your you know, camera further away from your face when you're vlogging and that will help capture more of uh, you know, uh, the background and give your vlog more context. It also means that you can use uh, the gimbal as a selfie stick to take pictures and you can also you know, shoot video from a lower to ground perspective without having to sort of crawl around like the golem. The SmoothX also brings with it many other features as long as you use the ZY Cami app. For instance, there's a smart mode where you choose a template, follow the camera movements, and it'll stitch all those clips up for you with you know various types of transitions and music. It's so easy, even a noob like me can produce a cinematic video really quick. I just can't see you know a way to edit the text in this mode. However, if that's what you want to do, rather than using a smart template, so you can edit all yourself from within the app. You can do some basic edits you can cut, clip, add transitions, text and music but good luck trying to figure out what some of the stuff does as it's not in English. Hopefully nothing a future software update won't be able to resolve. Here's some footage I recorded using the gimbal which I put together strictly using this editor. There's also a pan mode which will capture 180 degrees of the landscape which is pretty nifty even more so if you don't have an ultra wide camera. Hit the little triangle at the top, choose the path you would like the pan motor to take by using the joystick to choose your start point and end point, then tap the record button and it'll record the time lapse for you. Of course, if you want to, you can also set the interval and duration of the time lapse. The ZY Cami app also allows you to record hyperlapse, which is basically just a moving time lapse. But in this mode is where you'll notice the missing tilt axis. There's just too much bounce in the footage and it's just not something I really want to watch. So this isn't really a feature I'll be using. There's also a feature that lets you live stream, although it's two services I've never heard of and something you probably won't be aware of outside of China. Finally, onto my favourite feature, it's object or face tracking. If you're by yourself, you can trigger the tracking by showing a V gesture or waving your hand. That's great for run and gun vloggers. As you can see, it works really well. It managed to keep track of me even when there's sudden and quick movements. You can also draw around an object and it'll keep track of that whilst you move the gimbal around. It does a pretty good job even when you're moving the gimbal around really quick. So is the SmoothX an expensive selfie stick or a really low cost gimbal? Well, it depends and give me a minute to explain. If you own a really expensive flagship phone, it will probably already have good stabilization built into the phone. So in that scenario, yes, this is just an expensive selfie stick, albeit with some really good features. But if you own a mid range phone with less than impressive stabilization, then for you, this is a really good gimbal. It will definitely remove a lot of the shape from your recording, but the missing tilt axis might be a deal breaker for Siri videographers. So who is this device for? I would say it's for the selfie obsessed or for those who like to record vlogs on the fly. That extendable rod makes it easier to take selfies and record yourself. Um, and you know the gimbal can switch between landscape and portrait mode which is crucial for those who want to shoot video for Instagram or TikTok. If you fit into that category then this gimbal for its price and portability is more than worth it. This has been Raju Rahman from Tectonic. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and it helped you, please subscribe and like. That would really help me out. And don't forget to check out these other videos too.